Well, how here more space engineers, and uh, today we're doing a little bit of cleanup right this minute. <laughs> Figured had some time this weekend, so uh, yeah, we'd go ahead and get some of this stuff cleaned up. But what we're going to be doing is actually working on a new mining rig. Well, we're calling it a, calling it a mining rig. It's more of an excavator. Um, we'll talk about all of that, what's going on, what the full plan is for this week, a little bit later. First, we have to get started, so let's go. Alright, so happy Monday everybody. Hopefully you're having a fantastic week and we're able to enjoy your weekend. Oh, we are now in day, I don't know, something like 30 <laughs> of the quarantine situation. Oh, depending on who you are and where you are, hopefully it's uh, been a safe and productive period for you. Alright, so anyway, let's move on here. Oh, so I've been busy. We've gone ahead. I started to weld this this lineup, and I realized I didn't want to do all of that off camera, but I did want to show you basically what we have done, and we probably will weld the rest of this up off camera. Uh, but we've started running a cargo line, and then at the 25th block for each segment, we've put in a, a conveyor junction just to have them. Um, some of this is not necessary and some of it is kind of, it's basically, I'm using these as a way to tell what the distance is, um, but it also has the added benefit that if we wanted to install any kind of, um, say base defenses, we would actually be able to put cannons on these. So we, we could actually have a defensible system. Now. I got over here, I got to the point where I was actually having to mine some of this out because I didn't want to run it underground. Um, break surface again, and then I realized we're going to run into the same basic problem that we ran into on the big oil, or the big uh, mining rig over there. You can just see it in the distance. And basically what would end up happening is, is that you know, as we get further away from the point of origin, you start seeing more of the curvature taking effect. Now, this isn't normally a huge issue for me. I don't personally care if the uh, the mining facility is, you know, in tune with the graphic or not, or with the gravity or not. Um, but for this build, I kind of want it to be, and we'll, we'll talk about why here in a moment. As you can see, I've started working on some stuff over there. Um, so what we did is we went ahead and terminated it here, put a connector on the end of it so that we can transport stuff between the, uh, the main base and any out exterior like rover spaces. Um, part of the reason of bringing it out this far was specifically so that we could get away from all of the the base area we don't have to worry about our solar panels um, and what we'll be able to do is we'll actually be able to build a little bit of a system out here uh, probably like a small hangar or something like just a utility building off of this that will allow us to have a, a forward base as well as a place to recharge where we don't have to go all the way back to the main base because you know we're 400 meters away at this point and we still have another th 340 meters so we're going to be j j like three quarters of a kilometer um, away from the base when we're out here and so I just want to have something set up that basically would allow us to have if, if, if you know we get around to it we'll be able to build a rover and have basically the rover tie in here all right so all of that aside what we've done is we've gone ahead and started building up a small um, I guess you say working platform 
So the original idea was that we would have basically that line come all the way out here, connect into this, and then that way we wouldn't have to worry about putting cargo or anything else out here. Um, we would have it all and just kind of be done with worrying about some of the, the small stuff. And then as I got to building out here, I realized I actually wanted to do something a little bit bigger than what we've done previously. And this is why I went ahead and terminated the run where we did and uh, came over here to build what we're going to be building. So what we have here is basically an outline of where the drill bits are going to be. So starting at this line, this is all going to be drills all the way out to here. Now, if I remember correctly, this is, I want to say, 19 blocks. So we're going to end up with a giant amount of uh, drills. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to set this up so that we actually have a uh, pivot joint. And so what we'll do is we'll have, you know, effectively these 19 drills or however many drills it ends up being. And we're going to be able to mine down. Um, probably going to set this up with, um, I don't know, like eight, maybe nine pistons up. Um, and then we're going to have probably two or three pistons on this side uh, that will extend so that we can build the other side. And then that, what that'll do is that'll give us a whole lot of reach and be able to pull the, the drills all the way out of the ground um, in order to reposition this. And so what we'll do is we'll end up setting our rotor to have a minimum and maximum rotation area, and it'll probably be, I don't know, I don't remember how I set. Did I put zero out here no that's 180 so that zero is actually where I want it to be which is good so what I will do is have a say plus or minus 90 so we'd be able to go straight to this side all the way around and straight off of this side now this side, obviously, as you can tell from the, the ground discoloration, not quite as important, but it does have the added benefit that we'll be able to harvest all of that additional stone. Now I'm not going to put a rotor on this array. We're actually going to set this up as more of a rake style. And so what I want to do is um, tr basically try and tie well, I, we're going to tie it all together. That goes without saying, but um, I want to see what we can do with this. Now, I am thinking we are going to have a, a lot more pistons on this than what we have done on the past. Because, like I said, we're going to take this area here. Uh, I should go get stuff. And we're going to build, basically build pistons up from this point. Uh, in fact, we want, we want to go ahead and grab enough parts to put two of these in, because we're going to do a conveyor block here, and then we're going to do another conveyor block above it. Um, and the reason being is I need to attach some blocks out there to protect, well, you know, the idea is to make it look like it's protecting the, the pivot point, but... In reality, it's just to look cool. So this is going to be a rather large build. I'm going to try and do most of the uh, the rest of the block placing, at least, on camera. Go ahead and lock this up. Now that is an advanced rotor down there. Um, and part of the reason for this is that we're going to have cargo uh, we're going to put some cargo blocks out, and I'm thinking we're going to run car uh, conveyor or conveyors out here, and then uh, we run them out here, we could put the couple cargo blocks on this side, makes it easier to pick stuff up. So let's go ahead and get you in there, we're going to get you welded up. 
Right, and then, like I said, basically what we want to do at this point is we're going to have a couple of blocks out here. Let's do some simple stuff. Not nothing, nothing too complex. And I am using light armor blocks because I don't want to overload the uh, the strength of the rotor there. Uh, and from here, we're gonna see how this looks. Basically, what we're gonna do is this is going to continue up. And what I want to do is have um, some transition in here. I guess I could, instead of that, we could do it that way. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that better, I think. I think, I think, I think, yes. All right. There we go. And now the idea is that we'll have um, conveyor, conveyor tubes go to... Actually, do I just want to go ahead and do the piston? I may go ahead and just do the pistons here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll do that. And I think for this one, we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Than what we have done in the past. So we will have same basic concept of what we've done before. Right. We're going to do a door here. So we have that. Oh, do we want to make it? Do we want to make this kind of a self-enclosed base? Because yeah, we're going to end up with. Because what we could do is if we if we did what we normally do, right? What we've been doing with the the rest of the the mining rigs is we do something like that. We would have our command chair here. Put our vent in. And I am going to put the vent in on this side this time. And then it would be, you know, basically something like that. Because this is the way it would normally get set up. Right, and then that just gives us Energy critical. a nice little area to work in. Because so we'd have a door here. There'll be a vent here with a, the 2 by one window on the outside.
then maybe what we can do is down here since we're gonna have cargo coming off of this side we'll eventually pull these solar panels out the solar panels I'll probably put on the cargo blocks so we'll have um, solar panels so it'll be, let's say if we do three cargo blocks wide two cargo blocks tall we'll have a, an array of solar panels strapped to the side of it and then another array on the top of it that could be good let's go ahead and while we are sitting here talking about this So what we're talking about doing is basically having this come out like this maybe mm. no energy. Oh, crap. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna make it back to the base. Whoa, solar mm. panel. <laughs> was closer than I'd like to it have been. Okay, uh, we are going to let's go ahead and get rid of that for this second. Don't really need a whole lot out here, but it does need to be a flight seat. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the parts out to make one of these for us. Yeah, we have so much material right now that I don't even have to think about the stuff that I'm picking up anymore. But I've been promising to do a slightly larger build and I figured eh, this wouldn't be a bad way to, to spend a Monday. You know, have some fun. Get this giant thing built. Okay, and then what we're talking about here. I may actually bring them that way. Silicon, magnesium. And I will probably. Here wouldn't be a bad idea, like if we did that, and this is its own base, so wouldn't be a bad idea to have it set up with a with an ore detector. This also gives me a place to mount. Uh, I don't know if I'll actually be able to mount the light on that or not, but we'll we'll give it a try. Um, so we'll have a mount, uh, we'll have a light mounted here so that we'll be able to see what's going on. Uh, maybe put some LCDs down here or something. And then what we're talking about here. Is. We go something a little like this. Alright. Uh, eight. Okay, so that's one space one there. Because we want to have a little bit of space between these. Uh, mainly to just look cool, yeah. <laughs> that's really, that's really all we're looking for here. Right. We want something that looks kind of, looks kind of cool, a little fun. 
and then like I said, we're gonna end up with this. We know this thing is going to excavate ridiculous amounts of material, and so we want to have the ability to store that material, and that's what we're working on here. All right, so we've got that. Then I want to be an airborne ranger. Okay, um, sorry. <laughs> There's an old joke in there. All right, uh, let's see here. So if we go... Actually, let's do this. We'll center this up here. And then we will go... Like I said, it's going to be just really a small outpost style base. It's not, it's not supposed to be anything ridiculously complex. You know, basically you're just having a small space. Where we'll have a little bit of things going on. Okay. Sure, we can do that. Right. And then we are going to take that there. And we're gonna cut that for right this second. A walkway here. All right. And see, what I would sometimes do at this point is I would actually um, dig under the base and have everything drop down a level. But this is okay. I actually don't mind this. So what we're going to do is if we have that be the entrance, you be, or the air vent rather. Let's plan for the entrance to be here, I think. So you'll come in the door, door, small control area. And I mean, this is this is going to be a very small area. We're not planning on this being anything ridiculous. I guess we have the actually if we have the door on this side. Let's do the door on that side. So we're gonna end up with door, door, and that'll be sealed, that'll be walkway. Let's see come in, door door. That's going to be all wall there. Uh, opens up here. So I'm thinking... We'll use something like this. Door. 
door. That'll be an out exterior wall. This will be what I'll probably do then. Let's do this. But we're talking about making that next here wall anyway. So we get rid of that. Yeah, no, we'll keep that. We'll keep the line going there. That's fine. And we can do a wrap on that on these two sides if we if we want a uh, like if we want a shroud of any kind. Oh. I see debris. Was that just random bits of debris? That's about where the ship was, huh? The destroyed ship? Hmm. Alright. Let's not get distracted, Hal. <laughs> yeah, so we'll end up with something like this, basically. And then we'll take this ramp out, and instead of having the ramp there, we'll have a, uh, a walkway. And then that'll, like, the walkway will come out, say, I don't know, one end and then the ladder straight down. I think I want the, the st or the stairs, rather. I think I want to have two walkways and then have the stairs turn or maybe have it come straight out and then have this be the turn and come down there. Uh, so you guys are actually going to come out like so. All right. What we'll do with this whole thing is that we're going to put in um, a small, like I said, just really a small habitation area down here. Uh, let's see. You could come in. This will be a walkway. We could put the bathrooms there. Because this will have a. St All right, so let's do that. Maybe that. Alright, so if we have those energy low there, let's go No, not liking that. Okay. Because you figure there's going to be the idea is that there would probably be two people here, one for some maybe even three people so you have one person operating the drills one person overseeing mining operations and then the other person's basically your swing shift so on a 24-hour schedule you'd have somebody sleeping for eight hours somebody operating for eight hours and somebody you know kind of floating hmm I mean, if we do that, we could... actually set up a room in here. Right, so we do that. And... What about that? If we did... Oh, that 
it would actually be a good way to deal with this. Because remember, this will have a floor under it at some point. So if we did... Something like this, maybe? Energy critical. So we could actually have this set up. Where we would have actual floor, another grating here, and then have that closed off. So it would end up being something like that. So we need to get that welded up. And then we can close this off, get the rest of that stuff welded up. And we put a grate in here that would sit under the floor or would operate as the floor. So we'd end up having this entire area be able to be pressurized. And then we go, let's grab the side offset door there. Pop up into the seat really quickly. Yeah, I'm kind of liking the way that's coming out. That'll be a nice little base. So the idea is that, let's get a little bit of power here. Um, so the idea is that you would come in, you'll have some very basic facilities here, you know, you. Come in and we'll have a small locker so you can do your, your normal stuff. You'll have bathroom. Let's put in... I'm thinking we'll do... Let's go ahead and do the bed here. I mean, we could even do two of these. But I'm thinking we're just going to do one. And then once that is in place, maybe hmm. I guess we could do something like this that let's see come in you'll have some room you'll be able to walk around over here actually let's do if we do this oh no nope, wrong one let's say if we do say something like that if I learn to spell. All right. So we'll do this on this side. That, that'll give me room to be able to get in and out of the bed. Have food here. Hmm. Oh no, maybe we will go. Go a little bit, you know, keep it traditional maybe.
And then what I'm thinking is, is we'll put a dispenser here. Uh, is it actually? Yeah, it's under dispenser. So we'll have that right there. We'll swap those out. Uh, we want that to be... What do we want over here? Uh, all right, so let's just drop. We're gonna put a desk in here for right now, and all of this is is just to give me a mounting point until we get the rest of the stuff in place. Hell, I could even. Let's do this. This would be interesting. So we do that. We get rid of that. Gives us a little bit more room. And I can actually get to that from where I am, so... All right. So I'll be able to come in. Maybe have a window here. Yeah, that actually, and we'll have locker area where you would have your equipment storage. Hey, I'm kind of liking this. Okay, I think this will work. Um, this. Hmm. Okay. I'll tell you what. Let's get some of this welded up, right? Actually, how many plates do I have? I don't have a whole lot of plating. So let's get the important stuff welded up first. That way you can get a, get a better idea of what I'm thinking here. And I'm out of steel plates. Okay. Ah, so you know what? I am going to do this. Let's go one, two, three. We want a vent. Oh, uh, let's go. Walkway. Do we want two of those? And I think. Anything that we have left over, I'll fill up with metal plates. Okay, so let me go ahead. I'm going to go take, well, go get, get the stuff that we need. I'm going to come back, weld all of this up. Um, and I'll bring you back when we have a little bit more of it all sorted out. All right, so uh, yeah, let's do a quick cut and we will be right back. And we're back. Okay, so basically I've been running back and forth picking up stuff getting things welded up and let me show you what we've got so far ha <laughs> ha so this will be the the entrance way eventually we have we still need to place the Energy low. Uh, little walkway here and then have the stairs go down and make the turn whatever so coming in we have our simplified airlock there I'll give you the whole experience here so you come in, doors close, inner doors open. All right, you have the head right here. We went ahead and put in a two by one window. Uh, I did a half wall here. And then on the back of this, we actually did a unwelded um, old catwalk system, right? The old solid style catwalk to attach another two by one window. So you'll have an area that you'll be able to look out, do some cooking. You, have, you know, the, the combination desk table thing. You've got a, a, a place to rest. There's a, another two by one window. 
and then you have your your locker room basically for lack of a better term um i may change this out a little bit i'm thinking inventory full. ah crap got a full inventory uh, what I'm thinking is I may actually put a shower in here or multiple showers in here uh, So you'll have a, a an area to do Whatever you know you have your little shower area And then plenty of storage rooms And that would actually make a bit of sense because that being closed If we did shower here and shower here or and I guess we could actually do two showers in the corners hmm. see this is where we start getting into it like okay so how am I going to do this uh, let's see I want lights in here energy critical so I'll probably do a corner light here, which means I could put a window in. And I'm, uh, we'd have, then I could actually put a ceiling light, like a regular um, interior light in here, right in the middle, which would open, which would basically light up this entire area. Hmm. I think I actually like that idea. So we'll take two of these out and put showers in. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna. Can I throw this stuff in there? No, I can't. I forgot those lockers are basically just gear. Oh. Uh, I don't have anything with store actual storage over here yet. I have to get the I'll have to get the uh, cargo crates up. Like get those actually welded up here shortly. Okay, so just need enough power to get around. We don't need a whole lot right this second. Right, so if we go ahead And do something like this. Dang it. And we'll do something similar on this side. if we do if we go with something like you know just keep it simple right you don't need a whole lot of anything overly complex we just need a nice simple base build do the same on this side. I'm thinking let's go like that. And how about if we go with these for the window walls for the windows? Go ahead and get this get these welded up because what I'm gonna need to do is I, I'm gonna need to go through and we need to pull out those um, the lockers uh, that should be all of the right okay and then we're gonna go do this again really I swear this game uh, 
It just likes to mess with me every once in a while. All right, all right. So if we come over here, let's get this welded up. Now the idea is that basically if we take if we take this catwalk out, the steel catwalk out, um, we could actually put lights in here. See, the thing is, is that this thing is actually on the outer face. So we'd have to remove this if we want to put any lighting on this side, which I'm actually fine with. Surprise, you know, you know, be quite honest. If we go here. I would probably do um, meh, 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 meh. All right. So I'd probably do that for these sides. And then. Let's do something like that. And then for this side, because it's, you know, a little something different, right? Now, is there any reason? Oh, I know what I can put here. I'll put another dispenser in. Because this way you don't have to go inside to get, you know, some basic stuff. Or we just put in, let's grab. Because as much as I like that idea, I should say as much as I like the idea of it, I think this makes a bit more sense. So do that. Can't place the stairs. Of course we can't, because you know that would make entirely too much sense if we could. Right, so if we do that. That one, all right. And then we'll do the little cheaty thing. It's not too cheaty, but it's definitely cheatier. Come here. All right. Come here, buddy. Thank you. Low. Well, and see, the thing is, is that you can actually get away with doing this. Are you not really not going to let me? You can usually get away with doing this. So let me do that, but it won't let me do... Odd, because usually they'll let you stick them. Uh, right, let's see if it's. There we go. Um, trying to tell if that is the way that it needs to be. Yes, that is the way it needs to be. Okay. There we go. So we'll be able to weld this up. Put all of this up. You have a little bit of a walkout, lookout area over here. You know, you're not obviously not going to be able to see anything on that side. What we're going to do over on this side 
this. We're gonna grab that. Let's try that again. There we go. And I'm thinking. Wait, well, let me. See. So if we do, say one there, one there, one there, we can then get that array. And then on this side, we can put two there. So obviously we're gonna be pulling most of our power in the evening. <laughs> And I'm thinking we may do the antenna over here. Right, so let's go ahead and get. So you're still pulling. G critical. You're still pulling a little power out of there. So I'm not going to complain too much about that. Uh, let's go ahead and get you loaded up. We'll leave that one. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that solar panel there. Um, I may replace it with like LCDs or something. Um, but I like the idea of having something on that. And so what I may end up doing is I may replace one of these uh, with a series of LCDs and then have some kind of banner image or something that spans over uh, multiple blocks. All right. I want to see if this thing is actually pressurized. I need to figure out why it may be the blocks down behind it. All right, let's see here. Hmm. All right, time to troubleshoot that. Yeah, we've got plenty of plates. I'm thinking it's because whoop. I'm thinking it's because the uh, the blocks around it may not, since they're not welded up, may be causing the problem. Because mm, see. Since we can tell that some of this is in need of completion, I'm thinking that, yeah, that's probably the problem. Whenever you have air vents, you generally want to have the blocks around the air vent. Uh, walled it up and sometimes it's like even the blocks that are catty corners with so if you have your air vent So your air vents on this level you basically want all the blocks on this level to be welded and uh, completely airtight I've had some just random issues with air tightness in this game before But you know is what it is we'll make it work um, I may need to get to that from inside. All right. Let's do the rest from inside. Since we know this isn't airtight yet. Uh... I think that's everything else. Yeah. Looks like everything else should be okay. So if we close that. And we go like so. So what's the problem? Where is the issue? 
Maybe here? Now, there are actually mods that will um, do this troubleshooting for you. But I'm not using those. Okay, so we have... Oh. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Ah. Silly, silly panda is silly. All right, let's go get those parts really quick. Ah. I can't believe I did that. I'm sitting there like, where is everything? But, you know, at least not this way. We have it all done anyway, right? And then what I will do off camera between now and uh, Wednesday is we will go ahead, we'll get all of those solar panels welded up, get the six cargo containers welded up, all this uh, piping and everything done over to the base of there. And then when we come back on Wednesday, we will continue working on this beast. But I think for this, for today at least, this is going to do it for us. I want to thank you all for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you are new to the channel, haven't done so already, and uh, would like or would like to do something nice for me on this lovely Monday, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to be kept up to date with what's going on. Uh, I'm usually doing something around the channel. And if you want to see when those things are going on, be sure to click that little bell icon next to the subscribe. And you're going to want to turn on all notifications because YouTube hates us all. <laughs> really what it is, is it's um, because of the way they do the notification system. If you don't have uh, everything set up, it will not always send notices. But, you know, it is YouTube. They don't always send notices even when you do everything they tell you to. So, uh, you know. It is what it is. All right. So I am going to get out of here. I want to thank you all for stopping in. Um, hope you have a fantastic rest of your Monday. Have a terrific week if I don't see you before next time. And if uh, we do, we'll see you on Wednesday for more Space Engineers. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Oh, okay. Now, before we go any further, is this airtight? It's airtight. Yay! Now I just need to put some lights in the place. <laughs> Actually, we said we were going to take the stuff out. Put one there. Put one there. Missing small tubes, small steel tubes. And am I gonna put a light here? Where do I wanna put a light? Actually, where can I put a light? I have to take this out if I wanna put a light in. Well, oh, crap. <sighs> of course, that means we get to do this instead. <laughs> All sorts of balancing still needs to go on. Like... Uh, need girders. 